now we got to jump back 10 years because I couldn't find anything really significant from 2015 to 2005. But in 2005, you had Gucci Mane and Young Jeezy. Yeah, man. I So here's the thing, all right? And when I say here's the thing, it's... it's <laughs> You're about it, to say some shit. It, it gets kind of complex because Jeezy, Jeezy had it. He had such a huge impact on the way he came in the game. I mean... He, I, w- I remember being in like Magic City with Big Meech and the whole BMF and Blue Da Vinci. And we, we like when we was in a club with, with you know, Big Meech and Blue and, and Jeezy, we was throwing hundreds. You know how like you go to strip club and you throw ones? We was throwing stacks of hundreds. You know what I'm saying? And like we walk in there, Meech would just give everybody like, I don't know, 50 grand, bro. Like all uh, hundreds. I've, I've been there. And they we flew me out hundreds. and I remember and this. And so Jeezy, yeah, it was crazy. Jeezy's impact. Like on rap when he came in was so crazy. Yeah. And then Gucci, like, was, you know, underground, but like hitting hard too. Mm-hmm. Um, not as hard, not as, you know, uh commercial or big as Jeezy was. Um, but that beef, I feel like if niggas killed niggas homies, niggas won. I I, I like niggas niggas sent niggas at Gucci, man. Gucci bodied niggas. Literally. And got away with it. Yeah. So, and when I say got away with it, I don't mean like illegally. I mean like legally, he got justified kills in a rap beef. Like he killed niggas. Like himself. So, I don't know. That go to that go to Gucci, man. Well, yeah. And in the song Truth, he said, go dig your partner up, but you can't say shit. Ah. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, you know, if I don't, yo, when, when they did the when they did the verses, he actually hey, said yo. that, and he said, "I'm supposed hey, to." You know what's pack. crazy about that? And I and I might just be a, a a weird, violent nigga, but if we doing verses and you say that, I, I gotta throw hands on on the verses. <laughs> I don't know, but Jeezy, Jeezy, Jeezy looks. I haven't I haven't talked to Jeezy in, in years, but he looks, you know, well elevated and in a different mind state, and he's t- you know he looked like he got his. Grown man, he getting his grown man on. So that might not have been for him. But I don't think no matter what, no matter what level of life I would have been on, I I don't know. I couldn't I couldn't have let that slide. Like it's no <laughs> way. So again, Gucci made for the win, and that's just it. I don't want to hear nothing else about it. That same year, T.I. versus Lil Flip. Man, ah. I almost like just instantly gave it to T.I. But then I got reminded of like little flip, like and little, you know, little flip is a it's nice. Flip is, is 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 it seems like he's a bouncing ball rapper, but I mean, you know, it's H. It's a it's the H town and he can really go. Um I think that he he gave it his best shot, but like T.I., man, he 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 couldn't get with T.I. He did he, but he 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 did good, man. I'm not I'm not mad about it, but it's gotta go to T.I. Yeah, I mean in, in that particular situation, I feel like T.I. kind of messed up Flip's momentum. Right. Because Flip was, he was platinum, rolling. platinum, he was rolling. platinum. And then this happened, and then it was like, all right, not quite the same sales. People looking at him a little right. different. T.I., that was sort of the start of his whole ascension, I feel. Right. You know, when he did the mixtape with a DJ Drama. Yeah. And it was... A you know, little flip did have some comebacks. Yeah, now nah, he he like I said, he gave it his best shot. But um, Ti is one of those niggas that I don't know when he get when he gets angry um, and you start using the big ass words, <laughs> yeah, you're damn near doomed. 